Hello, here is the question number 21. It reads, a rectangular copper foil of width B is bent into a shape of shape consisting of a cylindrical portion of radius R, which is very small as compared to B, and two parallel plate, uh, parallel identical flat portions, each of length A, as shown in this figure. A current enters uniformly into the edge A, flows uniformly over the whole width, and comes out uniformly out of the edge B. Find the inductance between edges A and B for slowly varying current. So there's a flat um, uh, foil, and this is edge A, and this goes over this cylinder, then a similar kind of edge forms here, B. Let's say current I enters uh, through this edge A. So if we magnify this and use this front view, so that will appear like this. So this is uh, upper edge, this is lower edge, this A and this B, this gap is D, so which has, uh, I have zoomed out. And this current is crossed upside, so this current is going inside. From here, the current is coming outside. Now, these portions will behave like parallel sheets having uniform current distribution. So we know uh, the resultant magnetic field due to both will be coming towards uh, this way as shown here, that's B1. Now, and we know because of one plate, the field is uniform both sides if this plate is large enough. So that field, uniform field is written as mu naught k by 2, where k is the current per unit length. So it will be added up because of the 2, so it becomes mu naught into k, where k is the current per unit length. The length it is covering is b. So k is basically i by b. So it will be like b1 is equal to mu naught i by b. Now due to this, uh, there will be flux passing through the... Uh, the area between these two flat portions. So the flag, uh, flux through this flat portion is going to like phi 1, which is going to be like B1 into A. A is going to be the area of this thickness. That means this area that we can see over here. Now this area, uh, not, not, not exactly this, the area is going to be like of this edge A because magnetic field is uh, like this. So this A and D will make the cross-sectional area, uh, which will be perpendicular to the B. So A into D, that's uh, area, and B1 is the uh, magnetic field that we have calculated. So phi1 turn out to be like B1 into AD. B1 is mu naught I by B, and this is AD. So that's flux through uh, the area between these uh, flat portions. Now cylindrical portion uh, is going to behave like a long solenoid because R is very small, B is very large. So that's going to be long solenoid. Flux so it going to be phi 2 is equal to b2, the field inside the solenoid and the area which is pi r square. b2 is mu naught and i, that means mu naught into the total current per unit length. Total current per unit length is going to be like i by b. So mu naught i by b become the b2, pi r square is the area. So phi 2 turn out to be mu naught i k a pi pi r square by 2. So that's flux that will be linked with the uh, cylindrical portion. So total flux linkages is going to be like phi is equal to phi 1 plus phi 2. So we can add these two numbers. So it turned out to be phi is equal to mu naught b. We can take this mu naught b common. And that's going to be like ad plus pi, pi i square into i. Now this could be compared with phi is equal to li self-inductance. So l comes out to be mu naught by b within bracket ad plus pi i square. So that's inductance of the system between these two points a and b completely, right? So that, that come out to be Final response. Thank you.